Mortgage rates hitting record lows. The average 30-year fixed-rate mortgage now at 3.29 percent. The decline comes as many fear that the spread of the coronavirus could weigh on the U.S. economy, and that is why you've got the 10-year today uh, below seven-tenths of a percent. Joining us right now is Rogers Healy, an associate's real estate owner. Rogers Healy. Roger, good to see you this morning. Thank you for being here. We've been Thank talking you, about the 10-year plummeting like a rock, the 30-year plummeting like a rock. Connect the dots here for people's mortgages. Yeah, I mean, it's time to make a move either way. I think that we've seen really the last two weeks have been the busiest two weeks that we've seen in probably my entire career. So, yeah, you, you got to make a move. The only problem right now that we're seeing is a lack of inventory. So, yeah, the, the rates have, con have continued to decrease, and it's going to increase, obviously, the refinance boom as well. But we still have a problem with inventory, and I think that's eventually going to become a really, really big issue. Now, is that, uh, is that inventory problem, is this a regulatory issue? We talk about how in California it's so difficult to build new housing developments. Uh, Texas, I would think, a little more business friendly. Is it, it, what, what is the issue with inventory? Where does it come from? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all over the place. I mean, California is obviously a different animal than Texas. But even in Dallas, where I'm based, we're about 55,000 homes short as of today. And that's not considering the stuff that's going to happen with the slowdown in China. We're not talking about the fact that they have factories that are producing stuff that we need to build those houses. So it's going to slow it down really across the board, which is going to be a really interesting dynamic because rental rates are also starting to decline, which who knows which way it's going to go. So, yeah, California, there's all sorts of regulations that we don't have to deal with here in Texas, thank God, but it's still going to be affected no matter where you are. So like everyone else in America, I've been, we've been looking at buying a house in Florida. And, right. uh, the, the, you know, we've been looking for the last uh, year or two, and it's been a total seller's market because there's so much demand. I wonder if what's happening with the economy now, uh, you're, you're saying you're not seeing a slowdown in demand, uh, even given what's happened in the last no. uh, month or so? Here, here's what I think is going to happen. I think the people that have been thinking about potentially purchasing a new home, a second home, et cetera, yep. they're probably going to look at refinancing. And, and right now with the rates, like I'm refinancing everything that I have as of yesterday because it just makes more sense. So instead of having to go and take equity out and purchase something new and put a new down payment on, on something that you might not love, the thought of going and taking equity out of a home you might have more than 50% of loan to value in makes more sense. So I think there is going to be a little bit of a slowdown in certain pockets of the country where people really just would rather stay home, refinance, have a better rate, and have some more cash. So is this a, so? there's a silver lining then to these rates. I mean, mortgage rates closely linked to the yields on the 10-year Treasury. And we're looking right. at these numbers today down 17 basis points on the 10-year. Um, do you think at some point we see a, a refinancing boom? We, we reported yesterday that the refinancings were at a the seven-year high, the last reading. I think we're in the middle of the boom right now. I, I think it's crazy, and I think what's going to even play to, to buyers and refinancers uh, uh, you know, game even more so is that it's going to take longer to get the refinance done. There's already a backup. So the minute you get locked into your rate, that's the worst rate you're going to have. Right. So if you float it 30 or 60 days, who knows you know, how much lower it can go. Wow. All right, Rogers, good to see you this morning. Thank you, good sir. Good to see you guys, too. All have right, we'll talk day. to you soon. Rogers Healy joining us there. Coming up.